Z, wait for it. Light bulb. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? And welcome to another episode. And as you can tell from the title, in this episode, I will be ranking the Star Wars movies from worst to best, in my opinion. Now, uh, I just want to express down below, uh, you can put down below your ranking for each, mo uh, each one of these movies, and don't worry, I would love to hear your guys' opinion on this. So, I'm just going to tell you right now, Star Wars has been beloved by fans uh, young and old, um, whether you're coming into it fresh with this new trilogy, or you're from the get-go, uh, from episode uh, 4, A New Hope, um, it just has captured the hearts and imaginations of so many people. I can't tell you how much I love Star Wars, it's so great. So we're just going to dive right into my ranking, um, and uh, let's just get started. So coming in at number 10 is Attack of the Clones. And the reason this is at the bottom of my list is, for one, uh, Hayden Christensen, I think, is such a bad actor. Um, and then Natalie Portman did not do that great in this movie either. Um, the storyline is weak, in my opinion, and, uh, and the only saving grace that this movie has is the last 20 minutes when the Jedi show up at that uh, arena fight, and they just have a big out all-out battle with uh, lightsabers and everything. So if that scene was taken out of this movie, um, I would not have liked it at all. So coming in at number nine is The Phantom Menace. Now, I didn't mind this movie, like, crazily. It's just, it's very, like, I liked the ship battle um, uh, at the end, the space battle. And I, I liked the battle in the field, but in, and I'll tell you right now, but really the only real saving grace is that lightsaber battle with Darth Maul. And it, it's, it's a sad fact that Darth Maul had to die. I mean, it's so sad when he had to die because he is like the coolest, like, uh, Darth Lord in my opinion. Um, but uh, besides that lightsaber battle at the end, it really wasn't that great of a movie. I mean, there was so many good things about it. Like, I loved um, Amidala's... Uh, different outfit changes. I really liked those gowns and stuff. And uh, like I said, I like the the Naboo uh, ships and the planet. I think it's very pretty. But other than that, I mean, like there really wasn't like besides that lightsaber battle, it really wasn't that great. So going coming in at number eight is Solo, a Star Wars story. Now I have to be honest, this movie wasn't that great either. I mean, like there's not really that much in my opinion that really saves this movie, except for the lead actor. He did such a good job as Han Solo, and I really did enjoy that. But I mean, besides the like, there was the whole Oliver Twist thing going on with that big worm, and then there was like. You know, the love story. I mean, the fact that Darth Maul showed up at the end was kind of cool, but other than, I mean, it just wasn't that great and everything. Um, although the train, the really the saving grace of this movie was that train sequence, because that was really good. It was a train heist, but it was so great. and It, it, was, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Yeah. Coming in at number seven is, for me, The Last Jedi. Now, I know a lot of people, this strikes a chord with them and they get triggered, but I really did like this movie. Um, the Canto Bite scene, I did not like. They could take that whole scene out. I didn't like it at all. Uh, it was stupid, and I really wish it wasn't in there. But I really liked the whole um, kind of like a, a car chase through space kind of thing. I liked... Um, that they had followed them, and then uh, they just kept going forward and was staying out of their range until they ran out of gas. I, I personally liked that um, that portion of the program. I really thought it was great. I didn't like that they did not kill off Princess Leia, or General Leia, as they say in this movie, but because uh, uh, Carrie Fisher had died by then, and I, I felt like sending her off. I mean, she will be in Episode Nine. But uh, I really just wish that they would have killed her off then because it was such a great opportunity to. So coming in at number six is The Force Awakens. Now, uh, this new trilogy, a lot of people don't like that, uh, the new trilogy, and they feel like it's just ruining everything that Star Wars is. And I do think that Kathleen Kennedy has a lot to do with that. But I did like this movie for a couple of reasons. Um, I liked that, uh, that it brought back the Star Wars uh, family. Um, I didn't like the Mary Sue that went on with... Um, with Rey, but I did like Rey. I like that she was the Jedi in the end, even though they kind of honey potted us with, uh, with, um, oh gosh, John Boyega's character, Finn, with Finn being possibly the Jedi and then, um, 
uh, Rey being the Jedi, but I did like that, and I did like the introduction of Kylo Ren and uh, the Knights of Ren, even though we really didn't get to see any pay, uh, uh, any payment of that in the, the following movie in The Last Jedi. So, okay, so I'm just going to move on to number five, because, I mean, like, listen, if you don't like those, the, the Last Jedi and The Force Awakens, you could sit here and complain about them forever, and, uh, but they're, they're at the bottom of my list, towards the bottom, but, okay, so, coming in at number five is Revenge of the Sith. Now, I like this movie, um, out of the original trailer, uh, trilogy, I mean, the, gosh, the prequel trilogy, I like this one the best. I think it has, um, some really great action sequences, some really great lightsaber battles, um, and I really, the only thing that I don't like is the acting by Natalie Portman and Hayden Christensen. I really do think that they are the weakest part of this movie. The strongest part acting wise is Hugh McGregor. I really hope that they make a, a, a Han Solo movie. Not a Han Solo movie. <laughs> I really hope that they, um, make a Obi-Wan Kenobi Solo movie, uh, because I would love to see Hugh McGregor return as Han Solo. Um, now, coming in at number four is A New Hope. Now, this is the movie that started it all, and it's so great. I really love this movie. I love the hopefulness of it. When Leia kisses him on the cheek, and she's like, for good luck and everything, and then they swing across the thing, and, you know, and then when uh, uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi shows up, and, and, and uh, the Jawas, and the Sand People, every, I just love it all. It's just so great, and, uh, and, and I love every time I watch it. Coming in at number three is Rogue One. Um, this movie, in my opinion, has the second best space battle in the Star Wars uh, persona, in the Star Wars uh, pantheon. Um, that when they go to Scarith and they attack the the planet and try to stop that uh, and get the information to the Death Star, uh, I'm telling you right now, this was the best space battle in my opinion, or second best space battle. We'll get to this best one in just a second. But I really did like this one, and I really feel like they did such a great job with this movie, and it, I feel like it really holds up um, when you compare it to the trilogies. So coming in at number two is Empire Strikes Back. I know this is kind of controversial with some people. I do like Empire Strikes Back, um, and I'll get to my number one, which you probably guessed it, but I love this movie so much. It's so good when when Vader is like, yo, Obi-Wan never told you about your father, and then Luke's all like, he told me enough. He told me you killed him. And, he's like, and then he's like, no, I am your father. And he's like, no, no, that's impossible. I just, oh, I mean, and as a little kid, you're just like, wait, what? What? And everything is so, so good. I love that. So then coming in at number one, and you guessed it probably, is Return of the Jedi. You guys, this movie has been my favorite Star Wars movie since I was little. I used to be so obsessed with Jabba the Hutt's palace and that whole thing going on. Um... And then, like, that, la the end battle in space is my favorite space battle, and I just love it. I can't tell you how much I love this movie, um, when Luke is saying goodbye. The, the lightsaber battle is not that great, but it's still, it's just uh, it's such a great movie, and I personally think it still holds up, and it's emotional, and it's great, and you, you, you just find out you just have so much in it. So, um, I really love it. So, listen, I love Star Wars. I hope you love Star Wars. Please go ahead and leave your comments down below on how you feel about this video, and your ranking for Star Wars movies from your least favorite to your favorite. And, uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will check you guys later. Bye. Hey nerds, if you like this video, go ahead and click that deep what icon and subscribe. And if you like this video, join me every Thursday where you can check out ranks and reviews, videos just like this.